No, anything changed? Ugh. Oh, okay, I got Trainers, we have resolved technical issue announcement. With that cleared out, we, we are ready to share what we learned about the new Discovery Pokemon. What is this, Rot Rotom? Oh, okay. Where? Where? Alright, surf Surfetch. So it is Surfetch, yeah? Yeah. For 36 seconds. Alright. Huh, he's like... <laughs> the giant, the giant leak sword with a shield. Pokemon sword exclusive only? Wait, what? Is there one with a giant shield? It's a fighting type. Is there a shield version? Wait, what? That's only for sword version. I wanted a number shield version. Okay, so they, they probably will have a different one. They probably will have a different one just for the shield version. Like a, probably a different Pokemon from, from maybe Gen 1 or something, maybe. The Wild Duck Pokemon. I don't know if they can have anything else. That's all, let's go for it. Oh, what happened? Oh, they deleted the page! <laughs> oh my god, they deleted the page! This page does not exist anymore. Alright. And then they added it here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, they actually updated the website. They updated the website. You know what, I'm gonna turn off the music. It's kinda hard to hear from me here. They updated the website, so let's check it out before I end the stream. When Project of Series glitches, the effective appearance of the images and text on our page was meant to announce a new Pokemon discovered to appear in the Galar region. As of Wednesday, the error had been corrected, which was, you know, pretty much soon. I mean, just at first. We learned that incident was caused by a mysterious wild Rotom that entered our server, causing temporary destructive disruption to our website. Yeah, sure, sure, sure it was. Sure, sure. Fortunately, our IT team members, skilled Pokemon trainer in their own right, were able to convince Rotom to leave our system and return to where it normally resides. Where is that? With the issue cleared up, we are now free to finally present the detailed information about the newly discovered Pokemon found in Pokemon Sword. Keyword Pokemon Sword. Thank you for understanding in this matter. I'm pretty sure if I click, click that, it'll go here, but... Only Surfetch that survived many battles can attain this evolution. I mean Farfetch. Only Farfetch yeah, <laughs> that survived many battles can attain this evolution. When this Pokemon leaves withered, it will retire from combat. Okay. How long does that thing last? A noble knight that fights fair and square. The Farfetch of the Galar region can evolve to Surfetch after experiencing many battles. They're calm, collected, and they may they make a point of always battling fairly. They are so noble in battle that they are often chosen as the motif for paintings. Of particular note is a painting, famous in the Galar region, that depicts a duel between Surfetch and, uh, what the hell is this, a Scavler? Wait, I, know, I think I know that Pokemon, that, that night looking Pokemon, right? Scavler, Scavler, Scavler. Its irreplaceable leak has seen many battles. In battle, Surfetch uses, sharps, uses the sharp stock of his leak as a lance and the thick leaves as a shield. It maintains this leak over the span of many years and treasures it more than anything. When it leaks finally withers, Surfetch will leave the battlefield and retire from the battle entirely. Does it turn back? Does it turn into something else? When is Meteor Assault? The signature move of Surfetch. Meteor Assault is a new move introduced in these games that only Surfetch can learn. Oh, can learn! Okay, got it. Exclamation mark. The fetch point is leaked to the opponent and charges towards him at great speed, like the like jousting. Oh, I don't know. This move is devastatingly powerful. However, it appears that the move that the move also put great strain on Surfetch. It's unable to take action immediately after using this move. So it's like a. But what's that move that attacks and you get a rest? It's like hyper beam? No, hyper beam takes time to charge up, right? No, hyper. It's like hyper beam. You shoot it and then you have to charge back up. 
Okay. You gonna lurk and stuff? And work? Alright, thanks for dropping by. Anything new here? No, okay. Giga Impact does that too? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so Giga Impact, Hyper Beam kind of thing. Does it does all that shiznaz. They try to update the site, that's why they're waiting for it. Okay, that's what. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired, Queenie. You can, everyone go back to bed if you just woke up just for this. <laughs> Check out my YouTube video, Twitter, Discord. I'll see you guys later. Later hours.